elections so long in this country. Anyway, so uh, Trump's running again, or he's declared he's running again. Uh, looks like Ron DeSantis, uh, who's the governor of Florida, is going to run. And he's a he's really right wing kind of guy. And then uh, there's some others, Nikki Haley, and I think she's in North Carolina or South Carolina, I think North Carolina. Anyway, so um, anyway, so DeSantis seems to be like the biggest Trump and DeSantis seem to be the two big contenders going forward here. So um, Trump in his usual style is uh, trying to he's trying out nicknames, right? Because he's got to make fun of everybody, right? Like, you know, it was, uh, you know, little Marco Rubio and whatnot. Uh, Lion Ted Cruz, whatever they were, right? So he's tried out some new ones and he's got some new ones and they're going to go over them here on on Fox News on the Fox Fox and Friends. In the morning, Trump's new nicknames for Ron DeSantis. Are they good, are they good to... nicknames? I mean, I'm, uh, I'm kind of hoping it's going to be something like the nicknames from the girls from Flavor of Love, you know? Oh, okay. So the one he's been going with was he did uh, was Ron DeSanctimonious, and that one doesn't – not a real good one. <laughs> no. And then he's been calling him Meatball Ron, which I kind of like. Because if you see Ron DeSantis, he looks a little bit like a meatball. So it's good. I like that one, Meatball Ron. But he's got, no, they found the winner. And Fox and Friends is not comfortable with it. <laughs> to vilify Jeb Bush and Paul Ryan, he says that the portion of the party uh, that he's trying to link Ron DeSantis to, he's also working on a nickname, Ron Dishonest, Ron Deestablishment, or, or Tiny D. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the winner. Tiny D, it's gonna be oh. it's gonna be Donald Low Tr Low T Trump and Ron Tiny D DeSantis in the ring for the presidential primary. So uh, we stole this from the Young Turks, but here's Anna Kasparian. and she loves it. So watch her for a second because <laughs> oh. she's trying to hold it together, man. Brian Kilmeade, not a fan of Donald Trump's nicknames for Ron DeSantis. He's about to explain why. Let's take a look. I, I don't know. I mean, if people are uncomfortable, uh, it's hard to label somebody who's so similar to him with a nickname. It makes it's almost as it makes everybody on all sides seemingly uncomfortable. Even people reporting it. <laughs> it makes you uncomfortable. <laughs> I think it's I think it's hilarious. Hey, sometimes oh. Donald Trump falls back into some genius. It just happens every once in a while. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I still think that the girls from the uh, Flavor of Love could help him out with these nicknames. Give him a little more flair. I don't know. Tiny D is a pretty good one. <laughs> Tiny D is a pretty good one, but those other ones are pretty terrible. Yeah, they were pretty bad. Most of his suck, but sometimes he gets a good one. But yeah, Tiny D is good. So yeah, it's going to be the uh, Donald Low Testosterone Trump versus Tiny Dick DeSantis in the ring. That's going to be the, the Republican presidential I primary. Mean, if the Republicans are hurling that much crap at each other, um, maybe they're just going to self-destruct. I don't know. Well, Jeez. yeah. Um, poor, poor Tiny D. He's not going to, oh, he's going to have a hard time in the primary. Tiny D. Part of the reason he calls him Tiny D is this, too. Is Ron DeSantis is, I guess he's, he's like, I don't know how tall he actually is. It's it's not, he doesn't write, report it. But Trump's 6'3", but DeSantis is 5'9". Okay. Now, we haven't had a president that was shorter than average height in forever. So I think that really bothers DeSantis that he's shorter than average height for for man in the United States right now. It's I think it's like five eleven or something, five or six foot. It's close to that. So Ron, uh, Ron was on the trail in Iowa, getting ready for his presidential bid, and uh oh, guess what the photographers caught? Ron sporting the heels. <laughs> The two-inch cowboy boot heels <laughs> to make him so. In all fairness, maybe he just likes cowboy boots. Oh, he's he likes the boots. 
Run, run, run. <laughs> Sporting the heels. He's got to get up there. Which is funny because this is the guy that's trying to ban all the trans shit and <laughs> in Florida, too. He likes his heels. Yeah, no kidding. On so, top. Oh, I gotta say, this is the most ridiculous thing I've, I've ever heard of. Why do we care how tall he is? I, I never knew how tall he was, and I now feel really sad that there's a tiny bit of my brainwave space that's gotten taken up with the knowledge of how tall he is. Well, that, and he does like his boots. If you haven't seen this, so uh, when Hurricane Ian came to Florida and he went out to sort of survey stuff, this was the uh, this was the big famous photo of him in his boots. <laughs> the big white, oh, what, what? The, the white boots. <laughs> Super confused by it. Oh yeah, he's got he's got the he likes his his boots. He's got his go-go boots. <laughs> I mean, I liked Abba too, but he should have at least the rest of the outfit before he's gonna be wearing the boots. Oh, Trump is gonna rip him so bad. Um, it's I'm not a fan of Trump by any means, but it's one of those things. Where it's like those boots. He's wearing the go-go boots, just like in the Austin Power movies, just like the Fembots. <laughs> oh my! And he and he came. I met Austin Powers once at CBGB. <laughs> In 1978, <laughs> came up to me and he said, Mr. Trump, groovy baby. <laughs> and it's true. And we're saying it more and more. <laughs> so DeSantis is, I mean, already he's belly flopped on this. Um, so things are not looking good for him. The other person running, people, I don't think she's running for a shot. I think she really just... Um, I think she really just thinks she's gonna she's gonna step in and maybe be a vice presidential pick as Nikki Haley because she hasn't really said much of anything, but she uh, she got out there. So here's kind of the big rift right now is um, DeSantis and Haley are both uh, for cutting Social Security. That's one of their things. So they're part of those platforms. Trump is actually the only, right now, one of the few Republicans, um, or at least the only one running for president, uh, who's come out and flat out said, do not cut Social Security, because he knows who his base is, and a lot of them collect Social Security, so he can't, he can't sit there and say, no, let's cut Social Security. So he's been saying, no, 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 don't say that. So it's been kind of a rip. So Haley uh, is out, and they ask her about, well, what, do you, what about the Social Security change in retirement for younger workers, right? And this is her response. Thank you for the nomination. Uh, that it was, it's a big mistake for Republicans to even consider doing anything with Social Security, and Medicare, Medicaid. That 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 is going to guarantee defeat. I'm paraphrasing here. What do you say to that? We have to be realistic. It is unrealistic to say you're not going to touch entitlements. The, the thing is, you don't have to touch it for seniors and anybody near retirement. You're talking about the new generation, like my kids coming up. You're talking about that. You've got to start thinking 10, 20, 30 years out. We can't just think about one presidential election. And we've got bigger issues. So we've got to start making bigger solutions for these problems. <laughs> so there's Nikki Haley. If you're under 55, I'm cutting your social security. <laughs> That's right. She's cutting it for her kids. <laughs> no social security for you. <laughs> Not that her kids will need it, but, <laughs> but <laughs> I, I'm like, dude, you're running for president. That's your answer. That's like the worst answer. You can't even lie. <laughs> I mean. Cut your social security, wow. taking it away. <laughs> so those are the uh, those are three of the presidential uh, candidates for the primary for the Republicans. So two of them want to cut your social security. One likes his go-go boots, and the other spends all of his time thinking of cruel nicknames for the others. <laughs> Remind you a little of high school? If you would like to register for the Democratic Party, <laughs> please see the link below. So speaking of which, is a...